Boom. Boom. Hello and welcome back to the podcast. On today's episode, we have Monica. Thank you for being here. Oh, shit. There we go. Hello. Thank you for doing the podcast. Oh, I did uh, your podcast with Liz about a month ago. Yes. That's where I met you. Loved it. Yep. It was, it was fun. And uh, yeah, I wanted to have an actual uh, person who works in adult entertainment on the podcast. So thank you, you for doing you it. You picked the worst one. Not really? <laughs> Why would you say you're the worst person to represent the industry? Oh, man. Many reasons. Um, first of all, it's a bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, like, my OnlyFans started out as a joke. Uh, stripping is a big, fat joke. Okay. Um, and I don't know if I just, like, preemptively make it funny so that no one can make fun of me after. But... Like, my OnlyFans is called Doing Things Naked, and it started out with me just literally doing everything naked. Yeah. Like, not being hot or sexy, just full-blown naked. Was stuff. that the joke? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was like, watch me bake pumpkin bread. Yeah. But that's kind of sexy. Right, but I was, like, dropping shit and, like, cussing and, <laughs> oh, like, I see. like okay, actually okay. legitimately baking. I wasn't just, like, getting, like, flour on my boobs or anything like that. It was, like... I got something like right here and just legit you know. like making stuff in the kitchen. Yeah. But then, just in the nude. And then bonus, I did dishes too after. That's now that's hot. <laughs> but it was and like it's cause I at first I was like, okay, I'll wear an apron and then like halfway through I'll take it off and then like I'll look this way and I'll have the camera and then I was like, fuck all of this. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm just gonna <laughs> set it right there. When did you and start just, the OnlyFans? Ooh. Um when it became a thing, like a while ago. I was going to say, like, okay. during the pandemic, or? It was right when it hit, I think. Okay. Because that's when a lot of people went to OnlyFans. Yeah, because there's nothing else to do. Yeah. People spend their money, mm -hmm. the little they had. and <laughs> Is it better than stripping? No. No, it's not. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not? Other than the money not being as good. I mean, like, it's nice making money. Like, I'm making money right now, and I'm not even doing anything. Any, like, mm -hmm. I just have to do it once, and then, like, I can generate money over and over again from it. That's good. But stripping is just, like, you make $1,500 in one night. Wow. Okay. And so it's, like, and it, maybe people are going to come at me for this, possibly. But, like, it's not that hard. Stripping? Yeah, I really? mean, it wears on you, of, like, over time, and, like, there's certain instances that come up where you're just like, fuck this job, I'm not doing it anymore, but, like... Yeah, that's any job, though, really. Oh, right, <laughs> right. And so, what do you think the biggest misconception is about stripping that people think it's hard? Um. Well, I know there are hard nights, but, and it's, it. you just have to be, like, I won't do it, and this is my privilege, because I have another job, so mm. it's just secondary income, Um. But, like, you, I just don't go in when I'm like this. But some people are just, like, not in the fucking mood for it. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. And it's, it like, a lot of people think that, like, oh, girls do it because they're insecure and they want to get hyped up by, like, men. And it's, like, no, if you go in there and you're not already hyped up, like, on your own, you're fucked. Mm, okay. So it's more like stripping for yourself. <laughs> kind of. Right? Like, you're there, you're like, I'm doing this for me. If I make money, great. I just try to make people laugh while also having a boner. That's my goal. And then also make money while doing it. <laughs> Not that different from stand-up comedy, honestly. honestly. I, I, don't get a, I don't get people to get many boners, but, you know. It usually starts out with a boner for me and then a little laugh or two. Okay. Or three. Three? I, mm, Have you ever thought about doing stand-up? Fuck. Yeah, I've thought about it, but I, I mm, No. I'm, like, situationally funny. Okay. okay. I know that. Like Just when you're, you're naked on a pole, you're hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. No, this one dude, I was like, if you give me $100, I'll do the whole Napoleon Dynamite dance. And he fucking did, so I did. Nice. And then other people, or if it's super <laughs> slow, <Okay. laughs> like that's, that's the shit I do. If it's super slow and like no one's paying attention, I'll just stand up there. Mm. Or like I'll do like the little Tina twerk thing. Like I'll just do the dumbest shit, get their attention, and then start actually dancing. Oh, Okay. So they're like laughing, like, what's she going to do next? And they're like, oh, she's twerking now. Okay. And mm. then they give me money. That's smart. How much of being in a strip club is getting people's attention in terms of like getting them to want to pay you as opposed to the other strippers? So 90% of it at the club I'm at, at least right now, it's you walk up to people and sit at their table. Oh, okay. And you make most of your money doing lap dances. And then the most money comes from VIP. 
Right. So if you saw VIP, you're Gucci. But I've been in a strip club and been on the other end, and I know that that's where I spent the most money was in the VIP Correct. for sure. So, okay, and that makes should, sense. That should be. Hopefully you're not spending $1,000 on the floor. No, you're I wasn't. shit for that. But yeah, <laughs> that I... I, and I remember one time I just went there because I was sad, like I had lost some money gambling. Oh, that's no, it wasn't good. I, <laughs> this was a bad night. I lost money at the casino. Then I went to the strip club. This doesn't seem like the move. No. <laughs> but I was just sitting there drinking overpriced beer, and I didn't have any money for dances. And a chick came up and sat and talked to me for a while, and I was like, I don't have any money for you. I'm sorry. Did she get up? Eventually, yeah. But she seemed like she was there too long. Like, yeah. I was going to ask, like, at what point do you cut it off? I mean, it depends. If there's nothing else going on, I will sit and shoot the shit with someone for a little while. Mm. Like, it's not anything. But also, it's it's funny because you don't want to sit down at a table and, like, immediately get up. Oh, okay. And I know a lot of dancers that do do that. Like, they are hustling and that's it. Yeah. But, like, I personally and, like, a couple other dancers I dance with, we try to make it more like a like an experience, like... Oh, yeah. we're going to pretend that we just met each other and <laughs> I just so happen to not already be wearing clothes. Do you and do ASMR stuff? No. You should. <laughs> no, I fucking hate <laughs> ASMR so much. <sighs> Why don't you but like it? ASMR. Noises? You don't like noises? No, and I don't like the sound of my own voice and I don't like the little clicking and I don't like yeah, e- okay, okay. eating. <laughs> it's awful. Okay, yeah. But, um... Yeah, no, I, I try to not make it seem like, I try to make it seem like it's for, I'm here for both of us. Like, mm, I'm getting okay. something out of this, too, by hanging yeah. out with you, but there's a line, because then they're like, okay, well, I don't have to pay you, because you're enjoying my time, and it's like, yeah. hold on. Hold on. This is not why I'm here. I'm not working for free. No. Like, if you want to give me money, I'll keep sitting here. And mm. You know, a lot of dudes, they'll give you money while you sit with them, which is, like, the best, because then I can just talk and be a, a shithead for Doing nothing, basically. That is what stand-up comedy is, getting paid to talk and be a shithead. So the difference is, I think you said 1500 in a night. Yeah. I've never made even close to that in okay. comedy. Okay, well. Like, maybe I'm not, I'm not in the big leagues just yet, but it's like 1500 in a night. That's, that's a lot. That's like headliner money <laughs> Well, plus. it's just like, I just don't take myself seriously. Like, mm. I, and with porn, too, it's been the same thing. Like, I sell more with my outtakes than I do with the actual porn itself. Okay. I And, like, because I don't... All the porn I've shot with other people, at least, it's never been, like, this, like, serious thing because I can't do the noises and, like, yeah. the talking and, like, to- dirty talk. Like, I'm just laughing and, like, snorting. And, <laughs> like, that's the thing about porn that I... Like, I have to watch amateur porn for that because, oh, like, okay, I can't okay. deal with the, like, overly produced bullshit there are moments when i'm watching porn where i'm like that's an actress yeah like you can see they break character just a little bit and it kind of ruins it but when you're talking about like the amateur stuff it's like legitimate enjoyment yeah. happening in front of you that's like not... they're actually doing it well, they're I'm enjoying like, what they're and you doing. don't need the whole fucking like storyline and like the really bad acting like some people say they do i don't know what i've heard guys who are like i need the storyline but i think they just say that i don't know I come up with one in my head beforehand and then I'll mm. put porn on. I'm like, this is what happened after this thing I thought about happens mm. kind of thing. Yeah. Like a remix in your head. <laughs> right. Remix. I'm like, how's this going to go? Click play. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll fucking see. Nice. But, um, yeah. Uh, porn's weird. How much porn have you shot? Um, I don't know. What are we, what are we classifying? I mean, I've never had like a, like an actual, like, it's all been amateur. Okay. With other people. Sure. A dozen times. Okay. But it's usually myself. So your OnlyFans is just you though, right? Sometimes I'll put stuff with other people. Okay. Like there was a threesome video and then, but that one's just me being a, a shithead the whole time. What is it, by the way, what is the OnlyFans in case people want to look it up? <laughs> in case they want to get rid of the podcast right now and just want to look it up. Doing things naked. So doing, it's at like, doing things naked. Yeah. Just at doing things naked. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, Lock that down quick. Nice. <laughs> like, we're going to get to the point. Here. Don't go to doing things naked two or three. Right. Or, not or underscore doing or things. Yeah. All the hacks out there. Yeah. Don't don't fall for it. Okay. What is your pricing model 
I'm very interested in like the pricing models of it. Seriously, that's, that's a fun part because like at the beginning, I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm worth, but it's literally like what you set it at. If someone pays money to see whatever the fuck it is you put up, mm -hmm. they're going to justify it in their own heads that right. it was worth that money. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like why it's the literally the free market being like, well, I think this and they're like, well, I'll pay that. And now, boom. You right. got people paying for it and right. exchanging it. Worst case scenario, they don't buy anything ever again. But usually they'll be like curious because I'm sort of ran like random with my, mm. I'm so random, like not like that. <laughs> I, just, that's what I just felt like I said. I'm so random. I'm just so random um, sometimes. Do you think your fan base like comes to expect that from you now? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's a lot of pressure. No, I'm just kidding. Do they have comments on OnlyFans or no? Oh, yeah. Are they brutal? Um, usually what, like the stuff on like the comments, cause I'll on my, cause it's $5 just to be subscribed. And then I do pay-per-view mm. videos that I send out. Okay. Um, and that's where like the actual money comes in. But like my videos are only like $10 to $25. Okay. The threesome video was like $60 though, but that's Whoa. like, that's like good shit. So I was <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like, like good shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I would sell clips for cheaper and then, okay. or I would just put like a, you know, a few pictures, like stills from it on the actual page. So like yeah. you get the general idea, like advertising, like, hey, this is in your inbox, it's worth it. Mm. But um, yeah, no, a lot of them bought, like there was one porn I did. I got requested to do something. And so okay. I was like, I'll give it a whirl because I'm nice. sure it'll, it's got to get kind of graphic. Um, <laughs> That's fine. That's perfect. Okay. Well, this guy wanted me to like put a dick all the way in. Mm -hmm. like all the way down and I was like perfect you got just a guy my boyfriend at the time <laughs> and um his dick was too big and so it's, your boyfriend's dick was yes, too big. okay to go all the way in without me reacting poorly mm, okay and so it's just me laughing and choking on a dick for 15 <laughs> minutes like I've got tears coming down my face I'm like have to blow my nose and like there's just so much happening and oh it's my just God. like and it, he's just standing there like, what the fuck is this? And yeah. I'm just like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. And I'm like, okay, I'll hang off the bed this way. And I'm going to just need you to guide it. In. And I didn't cut any of it out. It's just like <laughs> me trying to get a whole dick in my mouth and then yeah. failing at the end. It but just sounds like you're trying to back up a truck or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Parallel park a truck. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, it was, it was bad. But uh, that sold the most, I think. And I sold it for like $30. And I was like, just... Watch me try to get this dick in my mouth. Nice. the title. And Watch me try to get this dick. In, look it up, please. Well, watch me try to get this dick in my mouth. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, we broke up right after that. So. No. I couldn't get his whole dick in my mouth. His it. dick was too big? No, he was an asshole. Oh, well, Different. big dick, obviously. Yeah, he doesn't. Big dick, guys. Hey, but he didn't know he had a big dick until he fucked me. Really? Yeah. Mm, okay. He, I guess he just didn't trust anyone else. But he's like, you fuck, so you should know. And I was like, that's kind of rude, but you're right. <laughs> a little bit rude, but yeah. He still did it, but yeah, now he's a big old asshole. Was that the first time he had ever done porn? Yes. His only time? Yes, and I don't even want to say his name. You know him. Oh, okay, all right. Well, you don't have, we don't have to say names. No, and I know, but he doesn't want to be known as someone that did that with me okay. ever. That's fine. In his life. That's cool. That's fine. I don't know why. That's weird. So Liz Splat has a huge dick, and she... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dude, her dick is bigger than any dude I've ever seen. I met. know. She has big dick energy hardcore, dude. Oh, I, oh, man, I, and I haven't seen her in like a couple weeks and I'm okay. having like withdrawal symptoms from mm. it because like, I'm just like, I need Liz, you need Liz. around all the time. Her energy is just. She has really good energy. She does. The best. And even like on stage, I think that's when it comes out the most. Cause like a lot of, a lot of comics just don't have the right energy on stage. <laughs> but hers is just fucking perfect for her material, for her style, for her look. Everything about it comes together perfectly. And that's why she kills. And you know what's funny is I've actually never seen her. Really? Perform. Yeah, I'm just going to see her tonight okay. at the open mic. But Okay, at Dusty's? Yeah. Okay, thank God. But she was like, oh, I can't believe the first time you're seeing me is at Dusty's. But I was like, you've never seen me perform. Oh, she hasn't? No. Oh, okay. No, I mean, people have that I know, but like, <laughs> she hasn't been one of them. And you know what I would do to have Liz in the fucking club while I'm there? Oh my God. Oh my God. Why, do, why doesn't she go to the club more? I, well, it's, she's on comedian schedule. She's just really in OKC now all the yeah, time. Yeah. So, and I'm not going to strip in OKC. Why not? Have you ever been to OKC? Yeah. Yeah. And why don't you want to strip there? I'm already on Adderall. I don't need actual <laughs> meth. <laughs> okay. 
You know they have weed, right? I don't know if you smoke weed. I mean, I do know they have weed now. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. But. Because I was, I was literally just there on Thursday. That's the only reason I'm bringing this up. I was there on Thursday and got so fucking high. Is it actually legal or is it just, I thought it was it's medical. Medical. Okay. But they let us go in the dispensary. Oh. With some, if you go with someone who has a card, they just let you go in too. You can't buy the stuff. Okay. But they literally watched me hand money to the person who then bought it. So they didn't give a shit. They're getting paid. They don't give a fuck. They didn't give a shit at all. I know we said we we're going to talk about illegal stuff, but that, who cares? It's fucking Oklahoma City. Go find them. Yeah, go what? find them. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. Oklahoma City is great, though. I like it. Maybe for stripping, it's not the same. Probably not. Okay. You might you might be right. I I'm at know. like a nicer, higher end club in Dallas. And like okay. Dallas gets kind of grimy too. So it's like mm. I felt like I I have a bar at least that I won't go under. And it's Dallas. Th- part of it. Okay. <laughs> Not even all of Dallas. Have you stripped in other cities? No. Okay. Yeah. And Dallas I it's is it's your weird home because you have to pay for licensing and stuff beforehand for each club you work at. Oh, okay. They, they do like the bio verify stuff. So they like fingerprint you, take all your pictures, they do background checks and all this stuff. So it's why? Well, you can't have been arrested for solicitation uh, okay. or okay. drug, like any kind of like um, drug dealing charges and all that. And mm-hmm. then um, also if you go missing or something, then they have your fingerprints. That part <laughs> makes more sense. I didn't know about the whole solicitation and everything like that, but I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. no, because it's, I mean, you're technically an independent contractor mm, okay. at the places I've been at. Like an Uber driver. Yeah, but with less clothes. <laughs> I've actually thought about, because I was an Uber driver before I started uh, oh, stripping. Okay. Because I was like, let me just do everything I can before stripping. Yeah. So that when my dad comes to me disappointed, and he did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I tried everything. Dude, he's crying on my porch. Oh, no. He just showed up. I was like, this is the first time in your entire life that you've ever just like stopped what you're doing and like mm. did something for me. This one, I didn't want you to do it, but. Yeah. Damn. He goes to strip club all the time with my mom, so. Oh, okay. It's like supply and demand, my dude. Not the club I work <laughs> at, obviously, but I was. That like, would be weird, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm new to the South, but I didn't know that that was a thing where it's like, let's go see your daughter tonight. No, I had a, a, a <laughs> bit right now before about my dad finding out about me being there because he was there. Mm. And then my mom was mad because I gave better lap dances than she did. Oh, but. shit. Oh, shit. I wish I had the na 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 That would be the perfect <laughs> soundboard clip. I strip better than my mom. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh, that bitch. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, super weird. But I was like, I'm 28. Like, I can do mm. whatever the fuck. Oh, and I was 26 when I started. 26 when you started. Okay. Yeah, so I was old compared to other people there. When do most strippers start? A lot of them are like between twenty and twenty three. Okay, that's kind of prime age. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I'll I'll be like I don't look that old, mm-hmm. so I mean maybe with the fucking lights, but like it's way darker. <laughs> <in the club. coughs> I'm sorry about the lights. It's fine. It's fine. I did not mean to have too many lights. Um, I'm joking. Okay, I'm I sorry. To give you some kind of shit. I'm self conscious about the lights because normally I don't have this many lights up, but I was like, I don't know because I had the thing up and the screen. Because normally it's just me talking, right, right? right? Yeah, so I don't need to have that much production value. But I figured, okay, today OnlyFans like we'll get we'll get some real production quality. Okay, <laughs> I'm here for it. It's fine. Do you plug your OnlyFans at the club? I have before. Okay. But, um, and I know some girls have like little business cards. Yeah, I was going to ask you. They'll set them down on the table and stuff like that. But I don't, I know the club doesn't like that because they're like, we want them to spend their money here. And it could be like implying things that are not entirely legal. Like, here's my phone number and here's my, here's how to find me on the internet. And sounds like it's a lot of regulations and stuff where you're like, you really, it's a very, it's a weird dance. Anything that's going to take money away from the club. They don't like. They're not going to like it. Okay. But yeah, that's why, you know, at like an old club I used to work at, um, which I'm not going to name, but like yeah. girls would do things there and uh-huh. like, but, and the club found out about it. And so they were like, all of your stuff has to be done here because the house gets like hundreds of dollars for VIP. And so if you have people coming in, so then they got girls in the back that like will do I was going to say, what kind of X, stuff? X, Y, and Z, anything. Okay. Anything. Mm. I've read seen read a you a book. Girl put like a that. champagne bottle up herself. It was insane. 
Like, how much does that cost? I have no idea. I okay. didn't ask. <laughs> I was I was just there. <laughs> Like, I mean, because the whole group took like girls in and it's like a thousand dollars per girl. And so I was like, this is an easy buck. And she got all the attention, which was fine. Once I'm in there, I don't give a fuck what happens. I mean, I feel like if you have a champagne bottle inside of you, you're going to get some attention. I would hope so. Yeah. That's kind of the point. Why are you doing it? And also part of the price has to be the type of champagne, right? It was a really nice bottle. Yeah. Okay. It tasted really good. You can't just be shoving fucking Andre. Andre. (laughs) I just had Andre inside of me. Really? What's he like? Well, it's the champagne, actually, but okay. Like, I wish it was a person. Yeah. I don't know how you say that. Damn. But yeah, no, it's uh, interesting what happens at some places. I was going to say, what is like the craziest story you've ever seen at a strip club? I mean, that was pretty up there. Yeah. I've seen a girl, and I, I'd heard about this happening before, but I hadn't okay. actually met her. Yeah. And then I met her, and it was insane. She asked a guy for a hundred dollar bill and she was going to do a trick with it. Okay. And so he gave her a hundred dollar bill. And so then she just lays on the floor and she just picks up her legs and then queefs the hundred dollar bill and it like went up. What? It was insane. Oh my God. A hundred dollar fart. <laughs> it wasn't even a real fart. You know, it's just queefs queef. are real farts. No, they're not. How are they not real farts? Because all you have to do, like, like I can queef on command if I'm in a certain position. And so, like, if you get your legs up and, like, spread them enough and mm-hmm. then you just, like, push out, it just makes a fart sound. How is that not a fart, though? Because there's not the chemicals in an actual fart that comes out of your asshole. It doesn't smell weird unless your pussy smells weird, in which case you've got other issues. But... So there's no gastrointestinal Right, no, it's out of your, it's just wet pussy <laughs> flap. It's wet ass pussy. <laughs> yes. And it just farts. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get into queef science, but I guess that's where we're at right now. Okay, so it's literally, can most women do this? Or yeah. is this just professionals? I mean, yeah, go to yoga class. I mean, that's lots of accidental queefing taking place in yoga <laughs> yoga class is just accident that sounds like it would smell bad though because i feel it's, no. uh, it's a lot of like moms with bad diets Nah. does it depend on the yoga i've never been to a yoga class what oh my god um <laughs> do i look like i i look like i either have never been to a yoga class or i run a yoga studio like one of those two you know <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay yes um <laughs> No, the yoga yoga studio I've been to, it's pretty it's pretty nice. Mm. But um like as I learned how to do it on command from doing yoga, like okay. aerial yoga. Like someone taught you or you just kind of started noticing it and you're like, "Wait, I was if like, I wow, do it like this." Wow, when I do this move, I always queef. And it sucks <laughs> cuz there's if you're doing aerial stuff, you've got someone spotting you, so their face is like already in your crotch. Oh shit, okay. And then so you're queefing So I've in their blown face. some hair back before, like it <laughs> Damn. You got powerful queef. You got that fucking it's a ha- gale force queefs down there. Jesus. Knock a whole dick over, wow. you know? No, I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I mean, I wouldn't queef for $100 probably. Okay. Um, well, $100 is a lot of money. Right? That's what I'm saying. I'll do all kinds of bad stuff for 100 bucks. I, I went to know. Oklahoma City for 25 bucks the other day. Like, I don't get... And I don't know. I, I'm going to have to try to see if I can actually make things lift up off of me. Okay. Like, you remember in school they had those little things where you could it, it would blow out air and a ping pong ball would float? Do you remember those things? What do you... T- what? Where? What? It was like a little toy. It would. It was like electric and it would just have a fan blowing oh, air okay, up. okay, yes. And you would put a ping pong ball and it would just float there. Yeah. <laughs> like with your pussy. That's what I'm saying. Like, just keep it up for a yeah. while. Yeah. Like if there was a stripper that could just do like circus tricks with air coming out of her vagina and it's just like keeping balls in the air, there's a market for it. There, I'm just no, saying. No, there for sure is. But <laughs> there's a market for everything. I think that's what OnlyFans proved. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. I've get, got some weird requests before, but yeah, no, it's. What's the weirdest request that you can talk about? <laughs> um. This guy wanted me to finger myself with my toe because I'm super flexible. And okay. so like <laughs> I didn't do it because I was like, I don't see how that would be. But he wanted me to like sit on my foot okay. and like go up and down on my foot. That's weird. That is weird. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I just, I was like, no, 
I'm sorry. Like, I what can't. was he? Uh, what was he offering price wise there? Twenty dollars. That's it. That's it. It was like to a, foot finger yourself. Yeah, and I was like, you give me twenty dollars for asking that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> is that guy a subscriber? Mm-hmm. He's still on there. He's still on there. And his username is like a local reference. Oh to shit! To the city I live in, so I was like. I bet I've drank with this person on accident before. Oh, no. Yeah, so I was for sure not doing it. How many of your fans, OnlyFans fans, have you actually met? After OnlyFans, only one. Okay. It turned out to be a waiter at a restaurant that was like, hey. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but, um, no, most of them are just like some of my guy friends, like, were very curious to see what the fuck was going on with me uh -huh. and then um some people just do it like for support they say oh, it's okay. just for support i don't know what they're doing yeah they say that <laughs> i'm just supporting life. you yeah this is a small business that i'm supporting. It, it is and i do like to profile entrepreneurs especially female entrepreneurs during women's history month so i did want to give you a shout out for that as yeah. well <laughs> i just i'm doing the same shit i always do i mean yeah. granted the photo shoots and stuff like that that i do are like get done take a while and those are the most aggravating parts of it and then okay. the, the marketing which i barely do anymore because i'm just like i'm just gonna go to the strip club what is your main marketing for the only fans um twitter and then actually instagram's kind of come up a little bit like obviously okay. you can get banned pretty quickly from instagram right. for stuff like that so i try to do it like i'll post like a really hot picture and then people will message me oh about and it. then you said i'm the only fans. yeah smart okay okay yeah so thirst trap Yes. Nice. And then you got them trapped in your web of lies. <laughs> in your web of thirst. I was going to say, because I know Twitter is very, I don't know if they're pro-porn or just anti-censorship on it, but I mean, there's a lot of porn on Twitter. There is a lot of porn on Twitter. It's great. Um, but they are starting, like, I've heard of some people starting to get banned, like, all, mm. like, because I have two separate Twitters, because I was in a, like, you know, I would tweet about, I didn't want to tweet about my kids and then start tweeting picture, like pussy pics. Like that's kind of weird. <laughs> that, is, that would be weird. I'll be so, honest. That'd be a little. And if you do that, I don't give a <laughs> fuck. You do whatever you want with your life. But yeah. for me, I was like, if I'm trying to like get traffic, like this kind of traffic to my page, mm. a pussy pic followed by a picture of my child, like pussy fruit, that's not going to fly. So it's probably true. Yeah. Um, but I know a lot of girls are making like backup accounts and then backup backup accounts in case something mm. happens. And so there's something going on with Twitter right now. Okay. So I'm trying to. Twitter's cracking down. First it was, I mean, they were fine. They should have just stopped at Trump, honestly. Yeah. But then they kept going to porn. Yeah. Why? Because <sighs> you can't stop at Trump. Once you've had the sweet taste of censorship, you need to keep going. Oh, but it's Trump. I mean, <laughs> granted, it's weird not knowing what's going on at all times in the right. president's mind. But. Isn't it weird? It's it feels, we went from knowing it, everything. It feels so quiet. Yeah, I'm scary. Worried. Yeah, it's, it's ominous. It's like one of those things where it's like if your parents are yelling and fighting all the time, you're like, well, at least I know what everyone's mad about. Right, right. And then it gets quiet in the house, and you're like, oh no, oh no, no, no. Yeah, someone's about to drop a bomb in Syria. Yeah. Mm, well, yeah. how yeah. did you feel about that when that happened? To transition <laughs> to to international policy, how do you feel about what we're doing in Syria right now? Um, I'm disappointed. Yeah. I was like, damn, already? Like, you've been here for like five minutes. My thing was, I don't even know what Syria was doing. Neither or, do I. Uh, I didn't. I was too sad to even look into it. I was just like, oh, fuck. It's probably not justified no matter what was happening. Because well, I feel yeah. like if it was something crazy, we would have known about it beforehand. Right? But then again, like, I get them being like, well, if we let them know that we know, then... <laughs> They'll be prepared or something. I don't fucking know. It was like an establishment of, of dominance. He was just like, all right, I'm going to just shoot off a bomb so that they know I have the It was the preemptive. Codes. Very, very. He was like, I'm here, bitches. He came in a month. He just was. Yeah. Bomb Syria. Like, I hope that's it. Yeah, I don't think it is. <laughs> no. I'll be honest. I highly doubt it is. I I, ugh, I don't know. I feel like once you get the... The, the feel of it the first time. Oh, the first like, drone strike's got to be the best. It's got to be like heroin or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Biden's going to be chasing that dragon. Oh, my God. He's a fucking heroin addict the now. The drone dra dragons. The That's drone dragons. Drone dragons. That's hard to say. Drone dragons. There is something I feel like it is. They're modern day dragons. Like a drone 
that it's, has an explosive attached to it? Yeah. Yes, for sure. It's basically a dragon. I would honestly rather be around an actual dragon. I feel like mm. I could like at least work something out with the actual dragon <laughs> as far as the drone goes. Like a free month of OnlyFans? <laughs> and then the dragon's like, okay. Like, here's a free entry card to the strip club. Oh, the dra- dragon walking into the strip club? Yeah. Oh, that would be so cute. <laughs> I'm, I'm just probably think, in trouble. I'm thinking of the dragon from Shrek. That's what I was thinking. Of. Yeah, I'm just only thinking of the Shrek one. Uh, we just got Disney Plus yesterday, so I was like scrolling through all the. Oh, fucking I watched movies Shrek on there. yesterday. Nice. I didn't even have my kids. <laughs> like, Don't say that, Jesus! Did you do it naked and no, film it? No, I was doing homework, but oh, okay. which I have filmed naked already. So doing homework. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that would be a big fetish. People being like, I want to watch you do homework naked. It's weird because it's just me hunched over my computer and like trying to figure out coding. And I'm like, I'm just like, the only good part of me is my ass. Like everything else <laughs> is kind of. <laughs> and so I'm like sitting on it and I stood up and it's like, I'd been sitting on it for a while on like a flat yeah. bench. So then I've got like stuck pancake ass for a second. You got to wiggle it out <laughs> to make it like come back out. Okay. Okay. But, um, what are you studying? Uh, political science and criminal law. Okay. And you're doing programming? Yeah, weird, right? My political research class, we have to code. That's it's very like weird. Basically, statistics. Oh, okay, okay. Which I did not sign. I haven't done math in like eight years. Nice. So I was like, huh. except counting them Benjamins. All right, sorry. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> and I'm an accountant, like okay. during the day, during the week. So okay. it's like, they're like, you should be good at math. I was like, I can count money all day, mm. but when it start fucking putting Ones letters, and zeros and shit, letters don't belong in mm. math. I hear you, algebra, so. and that kind of shit. I don't know, functions. I don't mm. <laughs> Functions. I remember math. I wasn't bad at it, but I just, I didn't know. I'm bad at it. Like, and I've got 20 year olds and 19 year olds like texting you trying to help me today. Mm. <laughs> Damn. That, uh, I do not envy that. No, and they all think math. I'm 22, so it's fine. There you go. I'm just like, yep. I'm 22, bitches. Like Taylor Swift. Just fucking chilling. Oh, yeah. That song. She's not anymore. She's like 32. You don't listen to Taylor Swift. Do I look like I listen to it? Don't yes. answer that. <laughs> yes. Especially with the way your hair, with the little pigtails. No. How are you going to, and you're wearing a fucking whatever, the, what do you call that? I, we were trying to figure it out outside actually before we started oh, recording. Okay. What is that called? Overalls. Uh, yeah, but they're not like, I feel like overalls are like denim. Yeah, they're green overalls. But coveralls. That covers everything, I feel like. Like, that would include arm stuff. Right? Yeah, no, those are overalls. All right. You look like you're in a Taylor Swift music video right now. Like an early country one. I'm taking full offense You, I'm sorry. You're the one who decided how to dress it. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. But you do look like a Taylor Swift fan. Okay, now with the boots. No, not as much. Now you look like you are a Rage Against the Machine or something like that. I don't know. What kind of music do you like? Metal. Metal? Yeah. They're raging. Rage Against Machines metal, are they not? What are they? I don't know. Not metal. Not the kind I listen to, at least. Okay. Rage Against the Machine is not metal? It just seems so, like, 102 on the edge. Oh, metal. you don't know what that is. I, it's a local radio station? Yeah, but it's okay. the defunct now, so it's like, oh. it's like Linkin Park shit. Oh, they like, might be a little more punk. Like, new metal. Okay. Type. I don't think Rage Against the Machine is new metal, but I never liked them. So. Okay. They were a little bit before my time. Okay. What is but your favorite band then? I don't have a favorite band. I don't know. Do you like music? I do, but I have like, I have, it depends on my mood. So it's like, okay. I will listen to like emo throwbacks because I obviously was an emo kid mm. in middle school and high school. And then I've got like the metal that I listen to now. Sometimes I listen to like, like hip hop or Dance music for the club. Like if I'm trying I was going to gonna ask what mood, you like to dance to. I usually dance to like EDM though. Okay. So, um, which the club I'm at now at least lets you pick, but it's actually kind of terrible because some girls dance to country music. And it's really hard to be giving someone a lap dance and country music comes yeah. on. <laughs> I was going to say, you can't do that. I I will throw a yeehaw in there. I don't care. But Yeehaw. Do you do you just like make it even more parody if it's a yeah. country music song? Yeah, oh fuck song? yeah, it makes it so easy. I like I'll stop twerking and I'll just be like, "Giddy <laughs> up, cowboy!" Like, that's got to work in Dallas it. though. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, they love it. And they're just like singing along. Their Levi's getting tighter, and I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Levi's are getting tighter. Music, I don't know. What is the average clientele like, or is it all over the map? 
Um, the one I was at right because I'm at a new one now. Mm-hmm. It was pretty white collar, like okay. men in suits, like work conferences. It's close to the airport, so it was oh, like okay, okay, a lot of traveling businessmen and people that are going to drop five grand in a night kind of thing. Like wow. for the boys. And so <laughs> don't make fun of men like that in bro culture, but we do do that. Yeah. For the boys, <laughs> for the boys. Yeah. Um, and then it's like, it's popping on week. Like, there'll be a random weeknight where it's like surprisingly, but you'll walk away with $2,000 on a Monday. And you're like, I'm sorry. I don't have to do shit for the rest of the week now. Nice. But the one I'm at now is like weird. There's like, it's like a, a warehouse air district area, like a lot of truckers. Oh, yeah, it feels kind of murdery, but <laughs> murdery. Not the club, but the okay. clientele that comes in there. Yeah, it's weird. But I feel like a strip club is like a church where it's the people. The building isn't as important as the people, right? The people make you can the make church. The building look as nice as you want. Yeah, but, but it, you bring a bunch of truckers in there. It's gonna smell weird. It's gonna smell weird. Yeah. It smells like every state. Kind of. Yeah, that's the problem with truckers. Nothing against them. They're great people because they... Most they, of the time. Most... Oh, every every group of people has bad people in it. Except comedians. We're all great. Mm-hmm. We're all awful, actually. We're the only ones who don't have any good people in it. You're but. not far off. I think Liz is the only exception, and that's only if you're mm. on her good side. So She's one of those people where, like, I don't want to get on her bad side. No. That idea scares me. It's... <laughs> I'm always like... Like at the beginning, I was walking on eggshells like when I first mm. met her because we honestly didn't even hang out or anything until we started making the podcast. Okay. Like, it how was, did you guys meet? <clears throat> I was at a mic um, with someone, mm. and um, she was outside, and I was just like a woman. <laughs> so, <laughs> at an open mic, yeah. yeah. So I like went over to her and I was talking to her, and she was like, "I'm about to go on," and I was like, "Okay, cool." And then I left, but I I, I didn't drive. Oh, I okay. think I was with like Tony Casillas and all of them. So I was okay. at their mercy. Was Tony Casillas the guy with the big dick? No. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> do I look like him? What's wrong with Tony Casillas? I love him. Yeah. To pieces, but I would not fuck him. Okay. Oh, okay. I've fucked near him. Okay. If that's. <laughs> like he was in the vicinity or was, someone like him? Uh, no, in his vicinity. Oh, okay, okay. I had stuff done to me in the back of his car once, like. <laughs> eh, Tony, there you go. <laughs> He's been near me <laughs> when I was. <laughs> okay. But that's as close as he'll get. I didn't. <laughs> all right, okay. I was m- more making the joke that he was the big dick guy, but all right. I no, love you, Tony. You I love you. He's going to hate me if no, he sees this. No, he won't this. watch this. I hope fine. not. He's hope too not. busy. He is. He's a very busy guy. He is. Um, so you met Liz and you were like, we have to do a podcast together or what? Well, cause my other podcast was tanking, um, (sighs) because our friendship was tanking. Um, it was a big deal. And so I was trying to like, I was like, okay, I'm running out of like fuel for this because the the other podcast, like I was the funny one, Mm. but it was like, we talked about serious topics and we had to be super PC about everything because like the girl, like people that listened were very like social justice warriors and stuff like that, which is fine. But like, I can't be 100% myself like that, like Mm -hmm. censoring myself. So with Liz, (laughs) she's worse than I am. And it's (laughs) great. She is. And so, because I'm so used to being like, you know, restricted in these like very narrow lines. And it's like, I'd want to make a joke and then it wouldn't, she wouldn't riff with me because she doesn't, she's not funny. And so it's kind of like a weird thing. But like Liz... She's Perfect. a great riffer. I had a great time on your podcast. Oh my god, I had a ton of fun. I fucking love her. She's great. Yeah. Now we get to record today. Oh and nice. Like, yeah, it's gonna be. I haven't. This is the first podcast I've recorded in like several weeks, which is probably the longest I've gone. Nice. Without podcasting. <laughs> well, I'm glad weird. you. I'm glad you got back into it in mind. I'm glad this is a nice warm up for your I'm podcast. Sorry. Like, I'm so I, no, sorry. No, 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 no. It's all good. Um. So how long have you guys been doing that podcast? What's the name of the podcast again? Dumpster Thriving. Dumpster Thriving. Okay. And my how long have you been doing named it? it. Um, Your son months. named it? Yeah. Well, because we were we were like, okay, let's do a self-care podcast, but like make it funny. Okay. And we were like, yeah, okay, yeah. Because we don't take care of ourselves at all. No one does. Mm. Um, It's a, all a lie. But um, <laughs> we were, I was on FaceTime with her and I had my kids. I just picked them up from school and I'm driving home and she was like, Jonah, what do we name it? And he was like, trash, no, dumpster, 
And she was like, dude, Dumpster Thriving. And I Dumpster was like, Thriving is a great name. Yeah. So <laughs> shout out to my youngest child. Um, he, so he's going to be the comedian. He's so much funnier than I am. It okay. sucks because he's a well, white he's man. Well, he's a guy. <laughs> Fuck you. I was going to make the joke first. <laughs> He is a white man, yeah. Unfortunate for him. So I'm gonna just get handed to him. Everything's just, he's just gonna get it. Everything. God. What a lucky guy. Great. <laughs> I'm I, I'm happy for him as his mother, but as a f- female in this world, yeah, I'm like fuck you. Because <laughs> just because he's a guy, yeah. <laughs> just because he's a guy. Oh, he's a little white guy. Yeah. That's well, that's your worse. fault. I'm sorry. You could have had sex with a black guy. Yeah. This, this is your fault. You picked a white it's guy. True. It was an accident. Both Her. my kids were an accident. I was married to him, but that's oh, okay. beside the point. I was 20. Wait, you were married, but the kids were an accident. Well, my first kid was the oops, because I was 20, and I was like, I'm pregnant. Okay. And I was like, either we get married or we break up. And he was like, well, fuck, okay. So I thought that was a great idea, so we got mm. married. And then I, ha- I got pregnant again on accident on my son's first birthday. Okay. So they're pretty close in age, and then I got divorced. And I was like, I fixed it. <laughs> you fixed it. But I already have, like, evidence. Yeah. Two p- giant two pieces evidences. of evidences. Yeah. Are they both boys? Mm-hmm. Two white men? Yeah. You're raising two white men. I'm so sorry. Do you, well, hold on, though, because don't you feel like you have a lot of opportunity to raise these white men in oh, a yeah. way? Oh, yeah. No, they are. They know all about consent. They okay. know anytime <laughs> there was, like, a cop killing or something, I told yeah. them about it. mm because, you know, people of color and stuff like that, like, you know, because I went back and forth with my ex about it because he was like, you know, I don't want the kids hating cops and like being afraid of cops. And I was like, mm. black kids have to be like, they have to know about all that. So, like, yeah. they should be aware that that shit's happening. Yeah. Even if they're seven, like they should be scared of cops. I'm terrified of cops <laughs> and I'm a white man. I, I, I know seriously I think a good healthy fear of cops is like important because then you're like oh shit the cops right I just want them to know that just because a cop is chasing someone doesn't mean that that someone's a bad guy you right. don't know who the fuck that's, the bad guy is don't trust nobody yes except for me don't trust nobody except for me. that's actually the best way to raise your kids yeah. don't trust anyone except for me because I'm your parent yeah and you know if you see anything happening that you know is like probably not cool then fucking nip that shit in the butt but i mean you meet people as an adult where you're like you're way too trusting yeah you know what oh I'm yeah i don't trust those people <laughs> right you shouldn't <laughs> those people are fucked up in the head yeah yeah but then you if you can raise your kids right where you're like all right just maybe have stay a little in your own lane stay in your yeah. lane have some skepticism <laughs> yeah that's a good way and just don't be a dick nice please i think you're doing a bang-up job with your kids uh. in a good way I just hope that they're not pieces of shit. <laughs> like, I'm worried I'm going to get off somewhere on accident, and then they're not going to have me anymore, and then they're just going to be pieces of shit. How old are they? Uh, seven and five. Okay. That took me too long to answer. No, no, this is, <laughs> that was pretty quick, honestly. Uh, I was, like, at the pharmacy. They're like, what's their date of birth? And I'm like, fuck you, bitch. I don't know. I'm going to pull out my <laughs> phone real quick. So many dates. Which one are we doing? Which one? This kid? The kid with the this pills? Is it the brown hair or the blonde hair? I don't know. Yeah, which one of these white pieces of shit? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. But I mean, it's like you do have the 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 opportunity. It's a responsibility. Yes, to raise two white men. Yeah, it, in this day and age, yeah, to not be like everyone else they've met. Okay. My ex husband's family is actually pretty tight. Like they're all super liberal and like mm-hmm. terrified of guns and all that. But like my family side loves guns. We've been in Texas. We were like the first, some of the first settlers here. Really? Don't like that. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, what did you guys, where did you guys settle? Dallas? Uh, Garland, yeah. Wow. And so I had like a, my first come to Jesus moment with that was in, I think it was first grade. I was, I had a class with another, with a a black guy, his name was Justin Young. We had the same Mm -hmm. last name. And my teacher was like, because they were like, oh, y'all are married. (laughs) And then. They were like, well, they can't be related, obviously, because he's black and she's white. Mm-hmm. And um, the teacher was like, well, actually, back in the day, um, slaves would assume the names of their. Um, the teacher just said that? Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> in first grade? I was like, hold on. Whoa. Are you saying my family may have owned his family? And it was like this whole like, oh, shit moment. Yeah. And I was like, no one's going to talk to me ever again. And I mean, they did eventually, but I mean, I, I was one of the only white kids in school, mm-hmm. the ones that I, the school I grew up in. 
So, I mean, I'm glad she said that because I don't, I mean, I was like, had my eyes open to that very yeah. early. Do you know if it was true or was it just a coincidence? Oh, no, I don't think, I don't know. I okay. don't think so. But I mean, just like she was just saying like, oh, a black person could have the same last name as a white person or like a white person's last name because of this reason. I don't think that that's what it was, but God for fucking bit if it was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, my girlfriend Genevieve, her last name is Clinton, and she that's why she on stage goes by Genevieve because she's like Clinton. You can't get here. Yeah. Clinton. Yeah, it's like let's uh, let's let's think about that. For, Can you think uh, of any prominent white people with that last no, name? Yeah, nothing no, comes to mind. Nothing comes to mind. someone named Monica. Nothing comes to mind. Ah, ah. Yeah, there you go. See, I think you could do comedy. <laughs> Seriously. Well, that's one of the things because you're like, oh, a woman. There's not a lot of women in comedy. No, but I feel like the, sh the funny stripper quote has been met. You know? Okay. I only that's have fair. so much that's fair. to talk about. It's like. I think you have so much more to talk about than the stripper stuff. Oh, yeah. But cool. The stripper mom, accountant. <laughs> Law student. Yeah. No. What? No, Why not? You only give a fuck about one of those things. The law student You thing. can't make a kid joke and then a law <laughs> school joke and then a stripper joke. It's confusing. You got to be, you got to stay on brand. Okay. What would my brand be? Obviously, Single mom killing it? Uh, no, I'm dying. That's the only <laughs> thing I'm killing is myself. That's a great name for a comedy special. I'm dying. It's, <laughs> it's all coming together. You already have a fan base. Yeah. Right? You, you're funny. Okay. Just do it. No. Film it. Okay. All right. I will pee myself on. I mean, that could be a bit. That could be an OnlyFans video, too. Stop. <laughs> oh, I forgot I got asked to do that one. Wait. Too. No, 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 no. Okay. We, we can we can wrap it up after that, but I have to hear this story. You got asked to pee on yourself. Yes. I And I, I wish I had the message pulled up because it was very recent. But oh. he was like, hey, I haven't seen you on in a while. And I was like, yeah, I've been a little busy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> running my life um but uh he was like well he was like how about i send you a hundred dollars and then you send me something and i was like i'm listening <laughs> attentively and he was like if you could just take a bath and i was like on it and you're like but then stand up at the end pee and then sit back down in it and I was like, sir, you do not have any idea how dehydrated I am right now. <laughs> like, I, no, I'm not, I can't, like, I'm already weird about vagina stuff, like. Okay, like f toes and stuff. Well, yeah, well, f ew, why do you right. want me to fuck my toe? I didn't ask. I didn't know that I would ever say that sentence, but I did. <laughs> why did you want me to, <laughs> why do you want me to fuck my toe? Um. But no, like it took like uh, vaginas are so weird. I mean, you know this probably. They all look different, and it took me a while to like because I don't have like a porn pussy. Okay. You know, I have like a weird looking vagina, and so I was like, "What do I do with this?" Mm. And I was like, "Oh, anything I want." But still, like standing up and then having to like spread my legs like this, squat and pee into my own bath. I feel like that's <sighs> pushing it. I, I mean, honestly, I think the biggest problem is the hundred dollars there. What do you mean? It should be, you should have been paying way more for that. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars is good money to make from just one stupid video of me taking a bath. But then again, but it's I'm, your bathtub. Like you're gonna have to clean that. Yeah, I clean it anyway, but but it's extra cleaning. That's true, and I would have to take a shower immediately after taking a bath. Yeah, I don't know if I have the hot water capacity for that. Oh yeah. So if he will pay me to upgrade my hot water heater, we'll talk. There you go. I'm just if kidding. you're watching Weird Guy, who is Once, that the same guy as the toe guy? It sounds no. like it'd be the exact same guy. No. Different guy. Guys are so weird. All yeah. of them. Yeah. Every guy is a little weird. I feel like, yeah. What's the yeah. most normal thing a guy has ever asked you to do at a strip club? Like the least weird thing. The least weird thing? Oof. I mean, twerking. They're just like, can you twerk on me? Like, Has there ever been anything where you're like, oh, he's so sweet? Um, guys that loved my tiny boobs. Really? Yes. They are like, they're like, I fucking love how small your tits are. <laughs> and I'm like, thank you. Perhaps. <laughs> I don't know if you like children, like if that's serious. Oh, thing. Like okay. I, and I just, I listened to too much true crime. Was it a Jeffrey Epstein looking fella? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and one of them, one of the guys looks like a golfer. 
But his dad, definitely questionable. The guy went with his dad. Oh, yeah. And all his, the time. I had this dad. He's, the same two guys would go all the time? Or are you saying it happens a lot where a guy It happens a lot okay, where okay. guys go in with their dads. Mm. I had this one da- guy. I was on like the side bar stage, which mm. is like where you're closer because there's the main stage and then there's a bar stage. And so I just, on the bar stage, I'd, I'm just drinking and doing nothing. And so I just like make my butt do the thing while I'm sitting down. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Do this, a thing? Yeah, you know, like the little isolation thing. Oh, okay. And so like I'm like, this is dancing because I'm not doing anything else. And people yeah. would just be like, Ugh, the whole time. So it's fine. It's a win-win. I don't have to do anything. But he was like trying to teach his son that you put dollar bills in the G string like by spelling your initials out. And it was bizarre. I was like, no, no one does this, sir. <laughs> oh, so, God. you know, he was, was like, just creepy. Yeah. And so he was like, sir, son, see, look, you fold it up like this. He's folding them all like meticulously. And I was like, you know, I have to undo all of these and somehow get them in my bag. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so he was like, here's son. And he was like holding my G string for him, for his son to put money in it. And I was just like, this is weird as fuck. But I wish you had more initials. <laughs> <laughs> like... At least pay me for this weird situation that you've put me in now. Because yeah. I was just like, I just have to sit here very still. Because I would like try to move. And he was like, wait, hold on. We're not done. And I was like, bro, that's like six bucks. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? It was singles. The guy's just spelling his name with singles. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm sure back in the day, that is what you did. And six singles, you know, in the 50s probably wasn't that oh, bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. But He's nowadays. making it rain. Yeah. This old fucking guy is like, back in the day, see? <laughs> Back in my day, we would just fill our initials in their G-string, and they'd be happy the whole yeah. time. It's like, no. Damn. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming on the podcast. Thank you for having me. Hell yeah. Is there anything you want to plug before we wrap it up? Um. Well, my OnlyFans is doing things naked. OnlyFans slash doing things naked. I'm currently dancing, I will say it, at Spirit Rhino. The new one in North Dallas, not the one off of 35. <laughs> I feel like I'm plugging my show. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going to be up at here on a... Th- yes, no. literally. Um, And then my Instagram is subpar blonde. Subpar blonde. Subpar blonde. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you very much for being on the podcast, Monica. Oh, I appreciate yeah. Wait, it. I have a podcast. Oh, yeah. Plug your podcast. Come on. I already did. Dumpster Thriving. Dumpster Thriving. Check it out. When do you guys release your podcast? Uh, Mondays. Every Monday. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you again for being on the podcast. I appreciate it. Of course. My pleasure.